Which drive are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. QNAP TS231P3 – Best for Most People The QNAP TS231P3 is not an NAS drive that's going to blow anyone's socks off, but then again it isn't claiming to be. This affordable two-bay NAS does exactly what you expect from the hardware it arrives with, even exceeding those expectations in a number of ways too. And although it arrives with rather modest specifications, for the most part it still manages to give you all of the core data and storage management applications with that hardware that a business user is going to need. Likewise, another advantage of an external PSU is ensuring that the internal operations are not affected by the heat or minor vibration generated from it. Yes, it means an extra component in the mix to remember, and the fact that some careless soul might knock your PSU out the back, but this can be easily avoided and, on the whole, an external PSU just makes more sense on a compact chassis like this. The interface is very similar to using a desktop Linux distro with multiple windows and the full GUI experience of installable widgets and apps. Depending on the client hardware in use, you can even tailor it to be touch-friendly or even use frameless browser mode, whichever suits. In short, despite its rather modest price point, it still brings a lot to the table in terms of NAS storage and still does this with the inclusion of 2.5 GBE. Number 4. TerraMaster F2210 – Best for the Money The F2210 is a cheap yet highly effective device that does many of the jobs that a home or Soho solution needs to perform. It's easy to install and in just a few short minutes you can be up and running with a device that can serve up pictures, music and video as easily as a CRM or database server. It's a simplification, but the NAS drive market has stratified into two tiers, Synology and everyone else. That said, even the cheapest Synology devices aren't inexpensive and there are plenty of alternatives that perform well and cost much less, like the F2210 by TerraMaster. The front of the F2210 has a single power button on the left with four indicator LEDs and on the right are the two drive trays that can accept either 2.5 or 3.5 inch drives. At the back is the power inlet for the small laptop style PSU, a single gigabit LAN port and two USB 3.0 ports. What's difficult to ignore about TerraMaster gear is that it offers significantly better value than Synology while retaining much of the flexibility and performance. The F2210 provides a simple to deploy platform that can be enhanced with software installations to perform a very wide range of functions, and TerraMaster has given it enough power and memory to achieve lots. Number 3. Asus Tor AS5202T – Best for Home Use The Nimbuster 2 AS5202T is my first look at an Asus NAS box. Up close, its appearance doesn't quite live up to the top-tier look in the photos. Its performance and features, however, most definitely do. The front has the usual power and quick copy buttons, plus one Type-A 5GBPS USB port, as well as the power and drive status or activity lights. On the back, you'll find the aforementioned dual 2.5GBPS RJ45 Ethernet ports that may be aggregated for better performance two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and an HDMI 2.0A output. Inside, there's 2GB of DDR4-2400 memory and an Intel Gemini Lake Celeron J4005 CPU running at 2GHz. Bottom line in terms of specs, it's fast and it's loaded. Most of the NAS boxes passing through our lab use older DDR3 memory. Once Portal is installed, you can stream, browse the web and play movies off the box directly to said display, which can be any resolution up to 4K UHD or 3840 by 2160. When it comes to performance, the AS5202T is hands down the best home user NAS box I've tested. Throw in the ability to drive a display and you've got one heck of a capable box. While the operating system isn't quite as mature as, say, QNAPs or Synologies, it's darn close and I'm a fan of the way features and settings are organized. Number 2. Synology 4 DS920 Plus – Best High End The DS920 Plus is an affordable NAS for the power user, capable of breezing through 4K video transcodes, running virtual machines and Docker containers. Synology's latest 4-bay DS920 Plus model is a powerhouse NAS designed for the pro user. While entry-level network-attached storage systems are great for serving files up and acting as a central backup, 
the Synology Plus series can do so much more. The Synology DS920 Plus is superficially identical to all the recent 4-bay Synology devices, with a sleek black plastic exterior and distinctive bezel on all edges. Measuring 8.73 by 7.83 by 6.54 inches, or 223 by 199 by 166 millimeters, it weighs 5 pounds or 2.25 kilograms without drives fitted. Firstly, the internals. Fitted with a powerful quad-core 2 GHz J4125 Intel Celeron CPU and 4 GB of RAM, the 920 Plus can handle hardware transcoding of 4K video files, has virtualization support, and provides an AES-NI encryption engine for great performance when using secure folders. Synology states photo indexation is 25% faster than the previous generation DS918 Plus model. Secondly, there's a lot of upgrade potential here for when you need to scale up. On the underside of the device, you'll find two M.2 SSD slots for NVMe caching drives. These can be used to significantly speed up random file operations. Definitely one of the best NAS drives in 2021. Number 1. Synology 2 DS220 Plus – Best Overall The Synology DiskStation DS220 Plus is a brilliant NAS enclosure for those looking to purchase their first NAS server or to save some money. The Intel Celeron processor is powerful enough for 4K media transcoding, and the OS is versatile enough to let you choose from plenty of available apps. The Synology DiskStation DS220 Plus looks identical to the DS218 Plus. The only way you'll be able to tell the difference is by looking at the model SKU printed on the front of both enclosures. You've got the same front plastic cover, the same layout of LED status lights, even the same USB port configuration. On the front of the DiskStation DS220 Plus, you'll find the accessible drive bays, aforementioned LED lights, power button, and a single USB 3.0 port. The sides are completely clear, as is the top of the enclosure. On the rear, you'll find the single 92mm fan to keep everything running cool, two 1 gigabit LAN ports, the other USB 3.0 port, Kensington lock, and power input. The Synology Disk Station DS220 Plus should be shortlisted if you're looking to buy your first NAS for your home or small office. It has two drive bays for plenty of storage space should you use 16TB drives, and the upgraded internals further expand capabilities. Synology's DSM OS is also very good, among the best in the business. Buying Guide FAQ What is the lifespan of an NAS drive? They live an average of 3 to 5 years. The correlation here is all on the inside. Servers and hard drives both contain vital moving parts that make them susceptible to failure. These failures can be attributed to kinetic energy, lubrication issues, and general wear over time. Are NAS drives worth it for home use? They don't get as much attention as smart speakers or fitness trackers, but network-attached storage or NAS drives are still worth a place in your smart home. Essentially, NAS drives are hard drives that connect to the web making them extremely versatile and presenting a host of useful applications. What's different about an NAS hard drive? An NAS HDD is designed to run for weeks on end, while a desktop HDD can only read and write data for hours at a time. An NAS HDD is also built specifically for RAID setup. By combining multiple drives into one single logical unit, RAID configurations provide data redundancy, thus protecting data against drive failures. Can I use NAS without internet? The home network does not need internet to work internally. No access from the internet will be possible. This includes phones not connected to the internal Wi-Fi. NAS means network attached storage, which means that the device is in its essence a small computer